Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time, thank you for coming. If it's not, thank you so much for your support. So today I wanted to talk to you about biotin. Now, in my quest to grow my hair longer, before my hair only grew to about just below my collarbone, and I wanted it to grow longer. So finally, in the past two years, I was able to grow my hair pretty much down to my navel. It's almost at my navel exactly on the dot. So I did lots of experimenting to see what would grow my hair. And one of the things I experimented with was biotin. Now this is a bottle of the biotin that I used I'll probably have this for a few months now. This is ultra biotin and it's called ultra biotin because in one milliliter, which is 15 drops, you will get 10,000 MCG. And that's a lot of biotin. Um, the FDA recommends the average adult over 18 years old should have 30 mcg so this is a heck of a lot that's why it's called ultra so biotin is actually a vitamin vitamin b7 vitamin b7 is water soluble so if you take too much of it it's excreted via the kidney system biotin is important for maintaining a healthy system. I experimented with using ultra biotin and I had mixed results. For me, using the ultra biotin, the 15 drops that were recommended, which is one milliliter, I used that daily. And the first thing I noticed was breakouts, lots of acne breakouts and I thought maybe my hair growth increased a little, but the breakouts were ridiculous. And prior to using biotin, I already suffered with acne. So instead of being once monthly acne, I went to full on daily battles with acne. So in my opinion, the hair growth that I received for using the biotin was not worth it the amount of acne scarring that I had and the hyperpigmentation that I also had to deal with. Um, in the quest for beauty, I would say biotin was an epic fail. So I definitely cannot recommend biotin for hair growth, knowing that it damages your skin so badly. I even tried using this biotin, not as recommended, but cutting back on the amount of biotin that I consume. So instead of the 15, I tried five daily. And the level of breakouts that I experienced in my skin, and I've battled with acne for my entire life from teenage onward. And I thought over 40, I should not struggle with acne. So to grow my hair, I looked beyond biotin, I can't recommend it. It is recommended that if you have biotin deficiency, you consume biotin and that can help with the symptoms of biotin deficiency, which include brittle nails, brittle hair, sometimes even depression and hallucinations, scaly skin that peels usually around the nose and mouth. So biotin deficiency is pretty, pretty significant, something that you don't want to let persist in your body and you have to fix. Natural sources of biotin include eggs, oats, spinach, white mushrooms, all of these, chicken, beef, all of these are sources of natural biotin and your body will take in what it needs and expel what it doesn't. So vitamin B7, though I do believe it did help with my hair growth on my hair growth journey, the collateral damage being my skin. I can't stress enough <laughs> that was not something that I was willing to suffer. And since I stopped using biotin and 
I'm taking better care of my skin. My skin has improved. And if you watch my other videos, you will see that my hair growth journey has improved as well without biotin. So thank you so much for stopping by to my channel and giving me your support. Um, if you like my content and what I do interests you, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like. That helps my video to be listed higher in the queue so that you can find it better. So thank you so much for your support and I look forward to making more videos for you. So stay tuned. Bye.